All right, so you don't have 20% to put down on that dream home. Not even 15%, 10%. Okay. How's 3% down? And how's Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac backing you up? How's that? Well, real estate executive Dottie Herman, delighted. Real estate analyst Jason Meister, scared. You like it, Dottie, why? Yeah, I was just on your show and I said millennials, uh, first time buyers, a lot of them have the incomes, but to save 20%, you know, with students and everything, it's a lot of money. So the sector that really was doing the worst was the entry level, first time buyers, because they didn't have down payments. All right, now so this buy. changes that. What do you think, Jason? I think it's insanity. I think that, um, you know, Einstein said it, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And he was talking about real estate, a little known exactly. fact. <laughs> but and you're worried about what? That, 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 that we're going to go back to the, the no money downside loans, it's going to get frothy again? I think it's getting frothy, but I also think there's no skin in the game. I think, you know, look at Canada. They have 20% down payments. They don't have Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac or an equivalent of a Fannie and a Freddie. And they, they're 20th percent of our default rate. So but they got 12 people. They're doing something right. Yeah, and a lot of them don't own homes. But this is going to be a little bit different because they're only doing them on conventional mortgages. So there'll be no adjustables where they're well, lower. Well, that's how it starts. Well, that's how it is now. But, all right. And, okay. For a lot of people, and again, hopefully they will scrutinize everyone, and they've been doing that, but a lot of younger people who have good jobs, to save 20%, especially in areas like New York City, California, Texas, higher price, it's really lots of years. It can but, take 12, 15 years. But Dottie, uh, the average realtor in the U.S. makes 6% commission. You're telling me that only half of a commission is what you're going to spend to buy a house? Then listen. That's okay, a very good point. Well, that really depends on where you are. Look, you could buy a house some places in Detroit. You could pay $30,000 for a house. That has nothing to do with it. What we're talking about is for people to buy homes, they need a very But is the down payment cash. the issue or the fact that the homes they want to move into, those people who own those homes aren't putting them on the market because they're still underwater? No, I would say, look, not everyone's, not, not everyone's out, but most people have really gotten out, and most of the bulk foreclosures were, bo were bought by investors a year or two ago. Look, what happened, what happened in the housing bubble is basically the government got in the business of promoting home ownership. And when you promote home ownership and you have the government meddling in the private sector, you have bubbles that cre get created. But you're, we're not close to a bubble again. We're, we're not. We're not. I'm not, I'm not saying we are, but... So these, maybe we need some at least to goost this a little bit, and this is a step in that direction. I think jobs, yeah. jobs boost it. We have I almost 15% real unemployment, U6 unemployment numbers for the millennial first-time homebuyer generation. We need jobs, real jobs, and that's how people buy homes, with jobs. They don't buy homes with 3% down payments. That, uh, well, listen, that you're, you're half right and half wrong. Yes, you need a job. Hopefully, they're not going to sell properties to people who have no jobs, as they did years ago. However, okay, we're talking about people who have jobs, have a good credit history. Well, by the way, okay, is that another one of the requirements with the 3% yes. of a high credit score? Yes. Okay, that they have good credit. So okay. is they it's just a matter of time, Neil. But is that the counterbalance, though, that, all right, it's 3% down, but you have to have a 650 or better credit score? It is, but there's still, there's no skin in the game. They, we need the skin. We need their skin in the game. We don't want our skin in the game. We don't want the taxpayer's skin in the game. We want the borrower's skin in the game. Why do we have a Freddie or a Fannie, given all their mistakes, given the fact that they... They really compounded the last housing crisis, and they were they were left out of Dodd Frank. Well, Why do we have them? Well, part of what just part of what happened in the housing crisis was the people bought contracts. Okay, they bought contracts of things that weren't built. All right, and flipped them. No, 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 no doubt. But I'm just saying they bought more than they could chew off. Right. So I'm just wondering whether we're doing, with the best of intentions, the same thing again. Well, again. What really counts, and I don't think it's a down payment. I think the down payment, if you have a good job, yeah. all right, and you have good credit, all right, and they scrutinize them, as they're doing now, I can tell you, if you have a dot that's not dotted right, you're not getting a mortgage today. So, Jason, she's saying you should calm down. Well, I think, look, if Fannie and Freddie were not buying loans, you know, basically, you wouldn't have someone, if in the private sector, if a bank set, wanted to bar lend someone a million dollars and they couldn't afford the million dollars, they wouldn't lend it to them. 
because it's not going to make them money. Unless they had the skin in the game. Exactly. Well, we'll see. The debate rages on, doesn't it? And when this starts in the new but, year? Yeah, it starts in a few weeks. Yeah. Yep. All right, but guys. people are calling already. Oh, I bet they are. Thank you, Jason Dottie.